be the first time I've ever done an audience participation moment, but um, actually I think I know who's going to be able to answer this question, but there's a question, which is what do the three bands tonight have directly in common? And the answer is grammatical. And I'm going to give you one song to figure out the answer, and I already know who's going to get it, and whoever gets it is going to have our best song, which is the next song after this, dedicated to them. What do the three bands have in common? The answer is grammatical. Major reference. 
lyrics in the in the next song after this one. If you keep paying attention, you'll get it, it'll be uh, rewarding for both of us. mentioned the best song in our set, so don't don't be disappointed by the latter part of the set, but that's just my personal opinion. It's called Hey Columbus. It's another Ohio song. All these are all Ohio songs.
Another bit of trivia, but I'm not going to make you answer this one. But it's I, I love um, pop culture uh, cult heroes because they engender a specific kind of interest and respect. And um, tonight in the house, of course, is Reckless Eric, um, who is one of those figures because. When I found out we were going to play with Reckless Eric, I was like, you've got to be kidding, Reckless Eric, the Stiff Records guy, that is so cool, the guy who wrote Whole Wide World, and so I was telling everybody I know, and, all, and all the hipsters went, oh man, that's so cool, you're playing with Reckless Eric, the Stiff Records guy, Stiff Records guy, the guy who wrote Whole Wide World, um, I don't have any of his music, but I know he's really cool. And then there was another response, which was, oh, you guys are playing again? And that was great. So, so um... So all, all of Akron was scrambling to find Reckless Eric product. And uh, my friend Bob went to Time Traveler and um, scored a bootleg, which is really good if you like to hear what an audience sounds like at a Reckless Eric concert. I went to Square Records, and they managed to, well, they like, goes click, click, click. Well, there appears to be a compilation. It may or may not be in print. It may or may not have distribution. I can have it by Tuesday. And Tuesday, I got it. And then um, I gave a talk. And in reward for me giving a talk, I got a $25 Barnes & Noble gift certificate. So I immediately called Barnes & Noble and asked if they could order me Reckless Eric's book, his memoir, um, uh, A Dysfunctional Life, the Reckless Eric Manual. And the guy on the other end of the line goes, well, click, 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 click. There is a book of that title by an Eric Goulden. Would that be the Reckless Eric you're talking about? Uh, yes, that's the book. Well, it appears to be in print. It's not clear whether it has American distribution, but let me see. So I get the book the next week, and I'm two-thirds of the way through it. It's really good. He's selling it tonight, and you should buy it, because it's just a really um, sort of uh, just unpretentious kind of story about anybody who ever loved rock and roll and wanted to write a pop song that became a hit and then did, which is what happened to him, which is great. So, what does Reckless Eric, the same things and the difficult have in common? This is the question of the evening. The answer is Stiff Records. Reckless Eric was one of the first artists to record for Stiff Records. Stiff Records, for some reason in England, became enamored of Akron at about the same time. And they came to Akron and they got a, all of the bands at Akron to record a compilation album, which is called the Akron Compilation. And on the cover of the record, there was a scratch and sniff sticker that was supposed to smell like a tire. <laughs> and for some reason, Stiff Records went out of business. But in the interim, Reckless Eric has moved to Cleveland. And a lot of people have asked, what is Reckless Eric doing living in Cleveland? Well, the answer is, of course, he wanted to find out if Akron really smelled like that. Not no more. <laughs> well, I didn't see you guys come up with any material. I was the night on that one. Modifier followed by a noun. Wait till the uh, next uh, Lime Spider spelling bee. Okay, I'm, I'm out of material but we've got lots of songs left, so this next one is an 80s song called Don't Know Came Off In My Hand. This next song is a 90s song, it's called Rack On Tour.
just didn't want to get played check. tonight. Okay, got you got it. it?
Adrian Reckles.
on the monitors a little bit. I think it's a little bit more than it needs to. Um, that should be all right if that was doing it. Thank you. 